Everybody, um, basically, I've been up to my ears in it since I got back from Glastonbury. It was my husband's birthday yesterday, so I've got no embroidery done. Um, so, I've got nothing to show you, basically. But what I was thinking, um, a quick video always fills a little gap, doesn't it? And these little pages I've been making, if I just run through these, I'm going to need a lot more of these um, before I've got enough to put books together. But, you know, this is how they're looking. The ones I did before I went away have got double-sided. Um, that's one I did before I went away, as is that one. As is that one. And these are just some that I did the other night. Because, uh, to be honest with you... Oh, sorry. I'm uh, tired. I've got a bit of a cold. My sore throat's gone, thankfully. But, um... So I just did these the other night. It didn't really take me very long. Um those ones so they still need something putting on the other side but this one in particular here this one appealed to me this that's the front of it and the reverse is equally as interesting isn't it so i was thinking i was looking at that yesterday because i was looking at the pages thinking of other ideas for what to fill more pages with and to fill these bits um and this is so much like things that i do already obviously i mean you know my work carries through into other things doesn't it but this came to my mind it's a sample that isn't mounted on anything isn't like in a <coughs> excuse me isn't in a book anywhere but can you see how those live they live don't they so i thought i'd do a little bit of this to this just on camera this morning so I was looking, I've been looking at where I can put these little things, these little ties. Now I've already got holes. This is running stitch going across here. It's like a ladder. Um, so maybe up a few of these I could do some of these ties. So what I need to do first is not put my needle through that hole. I don't know why I did that. I've got to put a knot in the end of this. How I did these was I knotted them uh, maybe three times. three times okay I'll trim it I don't want it quite that long and then I come up from the back now the reason I put my needle through there was so that I knew which hole I was coming up in so that one okay and then I literally just knot it again on the top um, simple simple as that she says since she made some mess of it Simple as that. So knot it a couple of times on the top. So basically it's a knot on either side of that hole. And then cut it. To leave like a little tail. So if I knot this again and do another one. And then if I put a little bit of black next to it. It'll live beautifully with that page. Even though it's not going to go in that page. But it just shows you how playing and fiddling and perhaps just aimlessly. Um... Excuse me. <coughs> Perhaps just aimlessly um, playing with needle and thread and a black marker, how it can inspire other things um, and move other things on or give you ideas for completely new pieces. I'm going to get a drink. I've got a drink at the side of me. Um, so I'll snip that one again. Now they don't necessarily lie, they're lying in a uniform manner, I'm not sure that that's what I want to be honest. So I'll tease them a bit, you know, pull them about a bit so that they're kind of standing up and they look more organic. The ones in the book, I'll just knot this and I'll show you in a sec. The ones in the book did just um, do that, they just did that of their own free will. So maybe I need to cut these a little bit shorter to get them to be le more unruly, less structured. So we'll see. I'll do this one a little bit shorter. Okay. So I'm saying cut that one there. That's better. I think I'll trim those other two as well. So if I continued to do this all the way down, then it would transform this piece. And I can't, with the best will in the world, do this all the way down on camera. But what I can do is add the black, because that's quite quick. 
Um, so, I mean, this is the front and it was solid black dots on the front. And I looked at the back and I added the, ne the uh, open ones on the back. So I think I'll do the open ones on here because I like them. And um, get my paper around the right way. So, if I do an open one, corresponding with the knots I've just done, and then do some more, which will indicate where I'll put the next ones. Now I have to decide if I want these equidistant. So if I just do them for now, I'm not counting here, perhaps I should be counting stitches, but I'm just going where I feel I want one and I'll have a look when I've done all the way down and see if I want to put more on here obviously I can't do less because and I really hope my head's not in the line of the camera because I've got wet hair I've just had a shower and I wouldn't want to uh, inflict that on you there's a lot of traumatised people out there. Right, so that would indicate where the other ones are to go. I think that's enough, don't you? So if you lay it next to that. So that's just a quick, how long was that? I can't say. Six minutes. But <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock yet. It's got me really fired up to continue with this. So be prepared at some point in the next few weeks to see this completed with all the ties. Okay.